Oh boy. So I finally finished Kuroko no Basque, also known as the basketball that Kuroko plays, or Kuroko no Basket, whatever the fuck you want to call it. <laughs> I just finished it. Uh, it took me long enough. Uh, I was When I first started it, I was watching it like crazy. And in between games, I started to like, you know, fall off. I would watch a couple episodes here and there. And then eventually when I had like 15 left, I just said, fuck it. And I binge watched it and I, I finished it. Um, it's an amazing, <laughs> amazing anime. And I highly recommend watching it if you haven't watched it. Brandon, I want to thank you for the, for the recommendation. I know I've, I've tried watching it before, but since I did my sports anime video and you recommended it, you know, you gave me that final push to, to check it out. So thank you for that. But this anime was fantastic. Uh, I think it's like 80 something episodes. Totally worth it. Um, it actually is one of the driving factors that got me back in the gym. <laughs> like this anime really inspired the shit out of me to start working out again. And that's what I love about sports animes. I've said that in my sports anime video, which I'll have linked in the description below, that because of some of these animes, the way they, they pump my adrenaline and just how they, they, they play and they train and all that kind of stuff gets you like all excited, you know, and you want to work out, you want to do something with that energy. And it's very inspirational. You know, I actually wanted to learn how to play basketball now. I'm not going to, <laughs> but I want to, you know what I mean? Like it, it didn't push me like Ippo did. Ippo pushed me into a boxing gym within like a couple of episodes like I think after his first fight, I was in, I was already in, I was already starting to go train and shit. I was running and fucking shadow boxing in the basement and everything. But this anime is up there, man. This anime is probably my second favorite sports anime, even though I haven't watched many. Uh, I think it's better than Prince of Tennis. You know, uh, it's not better than Epo. You know, there's other sports animes that are out there, but this one is. I never watched Ace of Diamonds, and I never watched that volleyball one. So I guess I can't really say you know, much about sports anime as I'd like to, but this is definitely my second favorite. It's right behind Hajime no Ippo, which is one of my top, top favorites of all time. So it's not going to beat that. But yeah, the anime was, was absolutely fantastic. I thought it ended great. You know, it ended with uh, the, the game ended halfway through the episode. And then the other half of the episode, they showed a lot of stuff of like future players and the next generation of guys which I thought was cool. You know, it leads on to a possible another season with new characters. But uh, I don't know. The anime stopped a while back, so I don't know what's going on with it. I'm not sure if they're going to continue it. Probably not. I'm not even sure if the manga is still going, but it's it's really, really good. It was really good. Highly recommend it. Totally worth the watch. It was just fucking... Oh, man. It was just so fantastic. Like, the characters, their abilities, like, each each of the Generation of Miracles had, like, a really cool ability. Um, I thought the worst one was Mika Saka Bauer, whatever his name was. It was, it's really hard to pronounce. He's got a really long name and I'm pretty good with pronouncing Japanese names. Um, but yeah, he, he was like the, the big dude with like the purple hair. I thought he was like kind of the weakest, but everybody else was badass, man. Badass. Uh, man, Iomine Daiki is my favorite. <laughs> he's my favorite fucking character in the whole show. He's such a fucking boss. When you punch that dude in the face, uh, that asshole fucking basketball player. That was fucking awesome. Punched him right in the fucking mouth. But yeah, I'm not going to spoil it. Uh, I definitely recommend you guys watch this anime. It's it's so up there on my like best animes list. Um, I didn't binge watch it like I thought I had planned I was going to do. I took a lot of breaks, but it still was worth it. You know, Totally, totally worth the watch. Uh, thank you guys for listening. This is Demon Ralph signing out.